Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel, Runaway Slave. I would like to give a big up to all my subs and supporters who like, comment, and share the videos. In addition, a special big up to all those who purchased my masterpiece, my book, The N Word Is No Secret in the Service. Big up to you all. Let's cook. Strength. 12 time world champion Hulk Hogan single handedly transformed wrestling into a global phenomenon. Today, he's fighting outside of the ring to maintain his legacy. Let me stop for a second. Terry Balea, the man behind the once indestructible Hulkster, letting his guard down. Out of everything that I've been through, this one hit me probably the hardest. And that's a heck of a thing to say, because I've been through a lot of crazy stuff. Including an admission of steroid use and his son's legal issues. But last month, a new controversy which threatens to erase his legacy. The National Enquirer reports that Hogan used racial slurs in audio secretly recorded. I was at the lowest point of my life. My personal life was destroyed. I was very mad at my daughter. I was upset over a situation that happened between her and her boyfriend. And I had no idea I was being taped. I was to the point where I wanted to kill myself. I sat in my bathroom by myself when my okay hawk so why you ain't just go do it why didn't you do it okay people so this big wrestling white supremacist hawk hogan is back in the news for being himself i guess i mean they're kind of making this story a big story i don't know why okay he's a, a man hawk hogan he established himself as a hardcore white supremacist overt that's what he represents. He says the N-word. He's been on video saying other things. I mean, he's been all over the news for this. Everybody knows about this by now. Okay? Now, this dude, Hulk Hogan, he has some new beer brand called Real American Beer. That's his company. It's supposed to be this American pride type stuff when, you know, white Americans have absolutely nothing to be proud about. I don't know where they get that from. Well, there's an influencer, a young sister named Essence, Okay? Now, Essence Janae, I think her name is. Now, this young sister named Essence said that she was hired by Hulk Hogan's company to be an ambassador or an influencer for his beer, and she was fired right after. She said that her contract was canceled because she's black. She said she started working with Hulk Hogan on July 2nd. Then the next day, he canceled her contract when he realized she was black. She stated that her contract ended early for no explanation at all after she met Hulk Hogan. Now, according to this Essence Janae, she signed a week-long contract to be a brand ambassador for Real American Summer Tour. Uh, after working only one day, she learned that Hulk Hogan and his team wanted to completely cancel the rest of her events. She said then that she saw her replacements on social media the next day and she realized that her and another black ambassador didn't make the cut for this promotional boat trip, okay? They seen that the white models took their place. While uh, they said the reasons for her being fired remain unconfirmed. Now, here's my thing with this, people. Look, Hulk Hogan has already established himself as a racist. This dude has been all over the news for. Even with that being a fact, this young lady... And other black people, they still wanted to go work for his brand called Real American Beer for a week. OK, this racist man, they know it. Everybody black knows this about Hulk Hogan by now. That's what he's known for after wrestling. She went to this event, as you can see. She was hired by some people from the office. She went there, hugged up with him. He seen her. She thought she had the job. And. She thought that she was going to have this job working as an ambassador, promoting this racist guy's beer, and as a wannabe blonde or brunette bimbo, you know, on a boat. I believe that if Essence Janae had got this job and she worked with Hulk Hogan for that week and everybody was nice to her, I believe that in the future, if somebody bashed Hulk Hogan and called him a white supremacist or a pig or whatever, I think she would have been one of the people that say, oh, well, he was nice to me and I, he gave me a job. And he that, that's what I think. I, now, I don't know, but that's what I think, because everybody knows what this dude Hulk Hogan is about. This is only a week long job. 
you know, being a bimbo on a boat promoting beer as a blind, a fake blind or a brunette. OK, now she went to this event on the first day she was hired. She's hugged up with Hulk Hogan. She figured it was all sealed up. But Hulk Hogan, he didn't know how these these girls looked. OK, he didn't know how these girls looked because his people hired him. So when he went to this event, that was his first time seeing it. So he he fronted on him while he was there. You know what I mean? Did the whole picture thing. Probably after the event, went back and cursed his people out, said, hey, this is real American beer. I want blondes and brunettes. You know what I mean? That's what happened, y'all. That's what happened. It's a very degrading job in the first place. I mean, this man is pretty much just accused of being himself. Hulk Hogan is a racist. Now, if this girl can get a bag of money out of it, good. Go ahead and get it. I hope she does. I don't care about no Hulk Hogan. I wouldn't care if she was able to take his whole, com- his whole company. But what I want to ask black people is, where do you draw the line, man? Where do black people draw the line and just hoping for a biscuit from these white supremacists for things like this. I mean, it's, this is a week-long job promoting beer, people. I mean, it, it, it's not a job that's going to build a home. You know? Should anybody care that a, a racist white American man named Hulk Hogan didn't give this girl Essence a job promoting beer as a blonde or brunette fake on a boat? And, and that's what I don't understand. You know, I, one, that's one thing I don't understand about some black folks. Now, the black folks I'm talking about are people who are saying that we all need to cancel this beer. Well, I don't drink beer. A lot of people don't drink beer. I don't know if black people who drink beer would drink this beer. But they're saying black people should cancel this beer and beer cot, boycott this beer because of what he did to this young sister named Essence here. Now, hold up, man. Why didn't black people cancel him when he went off screaming the N-word and doing all this on video? So anybody to me who comes after, I'm not talking about this, I'm talking about all these old people who comes after and and is making a big deal about this saying that, oh, we need to cancel him because of what he did to her, right? That means that these Negroes are smoking hopium because these are the type of Negroes who are just hoping and hoping and praying that white people and white races like Hulk Hogan would change their behavior. Hulk Hogan should have been canceled after everybody seen he was an overt white supremacist right there. What do you mean? Everybody, but no, there's always going to be people that, oh, well, you know, I want to go for this. Op- Come on, man. And I don't get the people saying we should cancel him because of what he did to her with this, cancel this bit. Hulk Hogan should have been canceled 10, 15 years. What are you talking, what are y'all, t- what are you Negroes talking about, man? And that's what I don't understand with some people. I mean, it's Hulk Hogan. He's being himself. He's a white supremacist, a racist, overt at that. People, get in the comments. Let, let me know what you think about this confusion here. Because people are saying, cancel Hulk Hogan now. Why wasn't Hulk Hogan already canceled? This is some hopium smoking Negro stuff, man. I mean, I don't know what to say, man. Anyway, people, easy.